Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about Python with Cucumber Framework. Okay, and on my previous video I explained about how the Cucumber Framework is there and uh, the uh, advantage and everything I explained in my previous video. Okay, if you are not watched that particular video, please go through that. And here I am going to do for setup how we can able to set up with this Cucumber framework into our Python and PyCharm. Okay. Uh, and next video, I'm going to show you how to create our first file. Okay. And this video, you can able to see uh, if you enter into Python, Cucumber, you can get so many things. Not this one. Sorry. Python behavior. Plugin. Okay, once you click this one, there are so many things will come to you. And here you can able to see there is a PYPI. Behave PYPI. Okay, this is the URL we need to go. If you click here, they will give you which is the version it is presented uh, when it is updated. What is the latest version of that behavior of Cucumber framework for this particular Python, which is the version we need to use it. Okay, they will provide you this. Before this, what you have to do it. Before Cucumber setup, what we need to do. Okay, same thing I copied here. Okay, and don't confuse here. The requirement is first we need to install our Python and then we need to install for PyCharm. PyCharm is a one plugin ID we are going to using for creating for our automation script. Okay. And after that, we need to use for behavior. Behave. These are three things we need to install into our local. Okay. How to install for your Python means you have to go to again here, search with the Google with the Python download. Once you click this one, it will give you first python.org URL. You can able to click that one. It will go to navigate into download location. You can able to see which is the latest version it is presented. You can able to see here. Okay. And if you don't want latest version, you can able to go for in the down. Sorry. In the down, you can able to see what are the stable versions for that particular uh, things are presented here. Okay. You can able to 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, and 3.10, 3.11 are stable versions. Okay, everything is presented. Here, 3.10 having some bugs, they are fixing that bug fixing. Okay, they are releasing. They are recently released for, for 3.10, there has 2021, then 4. And 3.11, it is like 2022. Okay. And you can able to see all the versions are available here. You can able to choose based upon your requirement. Any version, you can able to click it here. Once you click it, it will navigate into another location. And you have to come down. And you can able to see the file location. And here, they will provide you some uh, based upon your OES. You have to choose your EXE. OK, if you are 64, you need to click this one, 32 bit this one. Once you click, it will give you for in installer. Okay, once the, it is providing for installer for you, then you have to uh, take that entire file and then we'll uh, Python file. Yeah. Once you get that uh, particular file, right? You can, you need to go to uh, downloaders and you need to double click that particular exe. It will open for this, uh, this type of pop-up. Okay, just click on installation. Okay, it will start for installation to you. Okay, and before clicking installation, you have to uh, uh, see this particular folder. They will provide you for where exactly it will store into that particular path. Okay, and after that, you can once uh, you click, then it will start for installation. After some time, it will give you for setup was successful. Just close that one. Once you close and go to your folder. Uh, file location file location how to go means you can able to see 
C drive, users, user, and you have to do for app data. This is basically hidden value. Okay, the, that entire folder is hidden folder. We have to view, C means we have to click for view. Here in the top, we can able to see, right, view. And the view we can able to see there is a, a column it is presented for hidden items. Hidden items. We have to check that file. Once you check that particular one, you can able to see this app data. Once you saw that one, double click, go to local, and then here there is a programs. Inside the program, there is a Python. In the Python, which is the version you have, right? That particular version, you have to click it. If you have 3.10 means 3. 310 will be there. 36 means 36, it will display. 311 means 311, it will display. Okay, it will not show you points. Okay, and once you click that one, you can able to see this is the path you have to copy. This path you can copy and save into one notepad. In the notepad, the similar format up like. Like this, and also another one, you have to take this path. And this path again, you have to copy and paste into separate. Okay, two paths you copy. Then we need to set up your environment. Just edit system environment variables. Edit the system environment variable. This is the one you have to type into a search box. Once you search, then you have to click and then uh, click on environment variables. Once you click the environment variables, there is a path in a second system, second uh, box place. There is a system environment variables. Click that one and then you have to edit. And the dot last position you have to click and you have to copy paste, which is a path you copied. One by one, you have to copy paste. First one, you need to copy this one. And again, you need to second one. Once it is copied, then you need to second one. Again, that, that below one, you have to click. And again, you need to copy paste for second one also. OK, once you've done that one, you can able to close it. OK, everything you can make it for OK, OK. Everything will be saved. OK, once you save it is completed, then we need to download for PyCharm because of we need to work with the PyCharm. For PyCharm, you have, again, you have to click for like a PyCharm downloads. Once you click the JetBears, it will be displayed in the first top most. You can click and here you can able to choose for community downloader. Okay, don't go for provisional. Provisional is basically, uh, it is like a paid version. It will they will give you for 30 days free trials and the community will be free. You can able to use it, no issues anytime. Okay. For 30 days, you have to pay every 30 days. And if you're not paying, you can't able to use it for that particular options. Okay. Then you can able to download this one. Once you download, your EX will be presented. Once your exe is presented and after that you can able to see there are set of things one minute. I'll show you the steps. Okay, double click then it will give you for one pop up you have to click for next. Once you click the next it will install everything then you need to click for finish it. That's it. Once you're done you have to search. PyCharm and it will open this particular pop-up. Search means you have to uh, click on search box and PyCharm. It will give you that particular PyCharm one. You have to click. Once you click, it will give you this particular uh, window. Just click the checkbox and click continue. Once you click the continue, it will give you another this particular pop-up. Okay. You can choose for don't send anything. Okay. Once you're done, it will give you this particular home page. Once it is provided, you have to click for new project and you need to provide for project name and everything. Okay, that's it. Okay, once you're done, that is the one it will happen. Once these two things are you completed, then what is the next step? Next step, we need to go for installation for our behavior. Behavior is nothing but Cucumber plugin. Okay, that I showed you here, right? Here, you can able to see. You can copy this particular one and open your command prompt. Just enter and paste it. Oh, sorry. Just 
just copy and paste it and click on it will show you for success message for me because of i already installed okay in case if you are not seeing success okay if you are seeing some failure okay anything something failure you are seeing that uh, setup file is not configured or not able to download any kind of issues if you are able to watch then you have to do for there there are a couple of things one is you need to first install this one pip you can able to use pip also not only pip3 you can able to use so pip pip install iphone iphone upgrade pip it will upgrade your pip first point okay and second one you have to install again pip install iphone iphone upgrade setup tool <clears throat> sorry setup tool once you done these two options again try with this particular pip install behavior still if you are facing something issue just install again this pl particular plugin okay again you can install this particular plugin okay uh, maybe it will fail you in your local it will show you the failure also it's okay okay don't bother about it if still it is showing for failure but you can try this one and it is showing failure and again you can install for this particular one okay and here also not working then you can able to in the final one you have to install this one again you have to install this last one okay after this you can try again if still it is not working means maybe you are not able to configure your python in properly in your system again you have to uninstall python and remove your environment variable again reinstall one more time okay and again you can try for this all the steps one by one first you need to try this one and second third once this two is working after completion then you can able to try this one if not again you can try this one okay like this you have to try after all the things your python will be installed successfully okay this is a one installation and again we need to open for our pycharm now pycharm in the pycharm again it is having i have some other projects that's why it will go and open for that particular project then you can see new project you can click for new project once you click the new project it will give you this particular window if you are clicking for that particular new project also it will give you this particular window only you have to choose for python underscore cucumber okay and just click on your project then it will start for creating your particular python project like python cucumber project okay and still we are not done for complete setup okay now here we need to do for another one okay close here and again files in the files you can go to settings okay in the settings you can able to come to the project in the project expand this one and the project interpreter and here we need to click for this particular window okay and after that you need to search with the first uh, oh sorry in the command line i am not tell you something one more installation that is a pip install selenium this is the plugin also you have to install into python please because this is the one we are working right behavior and also selenium okay this also you have to try okay once you done here and in the particular place you have to use for selenium once you use that selenium you can able to see selenium it will be presented here just click on installation once you done the installation it will start for installing okay then after that we have to install for again behavior also now selenium is installed and behavior we need to install and again type behavior it is coming here 1.2.6 is presented just you can install it here 
once it is successful just close and click ok and it will start for downloading everything and it will install here and we need to install again one more plugin that is a kirkin plugin that i'll show you and next video session how to create your first cucumber or file right that time i am going to show you how to install here okay this is all about for installation and setup for cucumber framework with the python okay thank you for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you